video is dedicated to my son David, who passed away in March of 2017 from multiple drug toxicity. What we have here is the top 50 supplements, what people are taking to help with pain and to help with getting off opioids. This is what we should be concentrating on. These are the things that people have say are really working. These are the things that people are taking that have had real good results. Not everyone gets results the same from everything. We're all different. But these things will definitely make a change in what we're doing and what we're taking. Best thing you can do, lots of fluids, exercise. You know, the DLPA is helping so many people right now. Um, I can't tell you how many. Moringa, a superfood. It's a great, great thing. It's been helping, of course, Termac. So many rheumatoid arthritis people, you know, have been taking that for the longest of time. Apple cider vinegar help keep you clean. Uh, of course, you know, we've got stuff for toothaches because if you've been on methadone or something, you probably don't have a lot of teeth left or they're kind of breaking apart. So you got to have stuff for that too. And of course, Kratom. Kratom is another great thing to help with pain and uh, that kind of stuff. And then we got, you know, Carva, the teas and the uh, California Open Poppy and the DMSO. Um, and the Colloidal Silver, which are more not really towards opioid use, but they do help with cancer and a lot of other things. They've showed promise. Anyway, I can't say they're going to help you, but they've showed a lot of promise. There's been a lot of seniors out there who have licked a lot of things with those. Um, basically, what I'm trying to get through to people is we need to stop trying to worry about banding things. And we need to get somebody to get together and make a list of this stuff and what it does and how it can help and stop playing games. People's lives are at stake here. I wish the government and I wish people would understand. Thank you for listening.